Now let's check out the making of this oil painting. Squeeze that tube. Hi there, how is it going? I'm Stas, I do fine art. I searched the web and found this lovely Jack Russell Terrier picture as a reference. Now I had the task on how to turn this reference picture into a vibrant oil painting portrait. I try to imagine the subject in front of myself and observe it mindfully, thinking of all the possible reflections it would have and how those would describe the form. Asking myself a few questions while doing this mental observation helps to make decisions that lead to an understanding of what to do or try and how to do it. These questions are what is near? what is far, how to describe it, where to put a crisp line and where a blurred one. How did other painters solve problems I'm facing at this particular stage? It's beneficial to have a basic idea of the skull structure beneath all the flesh. It helps to answer the questions that appear along the way while creating a voluminous head. So what happens actually when I have a picture as a reference in front of me? I try to imagine the subject as if it would be in front of me. So I try to think around it, how it is placed in this space. Asking myself a few questions while doing this observation exercise. Asking myself these questions helps to make decisions that lead to an understanding of what to do, what to try and how to do it. These questions are what is near, what is far from my point of view, how to describe it, where to put a crisp line and where a blurred one, how did other painters solve problems that I'm facing right now at this particular stage. Therefore, it is useful to go into a museum. If there is no museum, go just online or just visit a virtual museum. And that's probably enough beneficial to have a basic idea of the skull structure beneath all the skin and flesh. This book might be a great starting point. Yeah.
here it is. That's how I turned this basic idea of painting a portrait of a dog using this reference picture into a painting that lasts a lifetime, at least. I'm happy that I managed to turn this whole process into a joyful endeavor. And that's what painting is about for me, having a positive experience. So I went through ups and downs, as usual. Subscribe, hit that like button, drop some comments, push of course the notification bell. Keep on painting, folks. A recently discovered protein in the eye that is very fast, it is essentially for tracking vision, is named after Pikachu. It's Pikachu-in. Funny, huh?